Yo, what is going on guys? I am back with a brand new video today. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about one of my job experiences. It was around Christmas time. Um, I was working for Sears. It... I was hired on as a seasonal employee. This was my first job, so keep in mind I was a little bit nervous still at this at this stage in um, the hiring process. I was doing my job normally like I would any other day, and a customer approached me, which is very normal. Um, he was a bigger customer. He had asked me um, if I had his size in a specific t-shirt that I was looking at. I said to him that I'll go and check, so I went and checked the computer and the back and I went through everything and of course his size wasn't there so I came back to the customer and I told him that we did not have his size in the shirt he was looking for yeah the customer was not having that guys he looked at me and he called me lazy and he called me like he just called me a liar he just went off on me started feeding me bullets and I was just sitting there like whoa calm down buddy I went back to my manager and i told her that i told her i explained to her the situation straight up we had a little talk about it she checked for herself um she checked the sizes she checked to see if we had any um of course we didn't so she came back with me to the customer the customer i guys i kid you not i kid you not i'm not i can't even make this up i kid you not the man was standing there with his wife beside him he had his arms crossed and his face was as red as a tomato <laughs> and my manager explains exactly what i said to the man like we didn't have his stuff we didn't have his size unfortunately you can try coming back two weeks from now when we get our new shipment in. this guy took his wife by the hand brought her back to the underwear aisle which was about 10 feet back from where we, we were standing and he came back about 15 seconds later and said let me check your stock my manager wasn't having that, so she gave me the signal to walk away. I then walked away and continued to do my job, but I made sure that I kept a I kept a vision on what they were doing because I was very curious. This was kind of exciting since my job was very boring. So I'm just sitting there folding clothes, and I see the guy. He's like using all like these. He's like duh, 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 like using all these like hand signal. His wife's just standing there. He starts yelling and. It goes on and on and on, but then it ended with him like taking his wife by the hand again and running up the store. The story doesn't even end here, guys. A week later, it was around um, the Boxing Day era. I was working again, doing my normal thing, and I saw the man walk into the store again. He wasn't with his wife this time. He was with um, another man, and they weren't even shopping. Like they were looking, they they were just walking around, I guess, looking for problems or looking for things to start pretty crazy to think that um people go out of their way to put others down or put like a company down like it's kind of ridiculous like all we all we said to the guys to come back we don't have his size and it led into such a big situation like if you guys enjoyed this story and you guys want to see more um subscribe down below this is my first time sharing a personal story and actually sitting down and talking with you guys i would love to do this more and more as i am growing it's freaking crazy to think that i'm almost at 500 subscribers in such a short time if you guys want to continue watching the gameplay in the background, it's going to be left on in the back. But the story's done. Um, I'm out. Peace, guys. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Sniper. Hostile there. We're winning this fight. And we can.
the win for the Accord, RTB. Friends, I drop my top, like, then I swear my crow, like, trying all these bands, like, who the fuck are you? Like, why you watch so cool?